pliers. Check. It. Check. Rod and reels. Check. Wife. Check. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing Norby. Today we're doing something a little different. We're doing a COVID survival challenge here at the pond. How to stay alive when you run out of food because Walmart is out of food. All they have is chicken feet. Um, so we're gonna catch our fish today, but we don't have live bait either. Um, and this is a little challenge to, to help you catch bluegill, crappie, uh, whatever's in your pond. It's a good way to, to catch the bait. We're gonna catch the bait first, then we're gonna catch the fish, and then we're gonna cook them up and clean them and eat them here at the end. But I'll show you what we got rigged up here in a little bit to catch these pan fish that we're gonna eat. But first off, we're gonna catch the bait. So I got a little dip net here. There's a little creek running into this pond and there's these little minnows. And what better to fish with than the minnows the fish are already eating in the pond. So we're gonna try to catch a few of these real quick. We're gonna throw them in the bucket. Then we're gonna cast out, try to catch some fish to eat for dinner to get through COVID. Let's go. Sneaking up on these minnows. They can feel your vibrations as you're walking around. And you just gotta be quick. Oh, I got one. One tiny one. That's not enough. There we go. Now I got two. I'm going to get a little water. Put them in the bucket. Look at that. That's what we're after. That's a good size one right there. Oh, he got away. There we go. That one's going to catch us a big slab. Get a little closer. Oh, <laughs> Did you get it? No. Uh, I got three. You got three? Yeah, boy. Nice. Look at that, guys. There's three more. Okay. All right, so I'm hopping the creek. I'm going to go to the other side, and there's a ton of minnows on the other side, but I'm going to spook them back over to Cody if I don't drop my camera in the creek. And we're going to have a ton of bait. Um, you need a bunch of bait, especially with these tiny little chubs these little minnows um, in your ponds little fat head minnows uh, they just come off the hook every fish you catch so there we go there they are I'm gonna spook them back over yeah nice I got like eight you got eight yeah oh my gosh look at this ant hill I stepped on those are all ants guys oh my goodness fire ants are no joke here in Alabama look at that that is crazy. There's thousands, thousands of ants, millions right there. Wow. So we just caught those minnows. Look at this. Those fire ants actually got bit by one. You guys see that? Crazy. I didn't even touch the ant hill after that. I touched a piece of grass sticking up about a foot. They were crawling everywhere. Crawled up that piece of grass, got me. So those are no joke, but we're gonna get rigged up here. We got all of our minnows, reach down. I'm gonna grab one, one of these tiny little minnows, and then we have a size 16 little fly fishing hook. Um, you can get just small minnow hooks at, at Walmart or wherever. I'll link some down below if you want to order some. What if they're sold out? If they're sold out, you just got to use what hooks you have. But the best way to put these little minnows on a hook so that they stay on there is to go through the bottom of their lip and out the top of their lip, just like that. They do not come off when you cast them and they stay alive just like that see how lively that dude is we're gonna cast him out there try to catch us a giant crappie or bluegill for dinner all right here we go first cast jump in way out there once you find where they're at you'll be able to cast in that same spot and catch a bunch of them so she's gonna cast over there, I'm gonna rig up, cast right out here. Hopefully, get on, let's go. Up the line we have a little cork, bobber, just like that, with a tiny little 30 second ounce split shot. And then about a foot and a half down, our minnow hook swims freely. Doesn't get affected, bless you. And I'm gonna put a minnow on this one and cast out there too. I think I got the fattest minnow in the bucket. Look at that chub. That should get bit. Here we go.
Got one. There we go. First fish. We had to come over to the shade. Look at that. That's a big gill. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Fish number one for Dinden. That's a pretty good one. Look at that. Not too bad. Okay, we need about 10 of these to get a meal. I'll throw them in the bucket. Get back out there. You got one, babe? Cody's got one over there, guys. We found them. We found them. What you got? A crappie. She's got a crappie. That's awesome. I'll set my pull down. Nice, babe. Give me some. That's bigger than my bluegill. I got him. Oh, he swallowed it. He flat out swallowed that whole thing. Wow, it's all the way down his throat. Get my pliers out. Come on now. It's all tangled too. It's so deep down there. There we go, got it. Wouldn't have got that without those pliers. All right, there you go. Let's rig you up another minnow. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Two fish. Two fish. Yeah, I got one. See a bluegill in there? I right now. There we go. I thought I had one, but I just didn't see my bobber sitting there. Right. Any more water. Yeah, I'll get some more water. To not lose all of our minnows. There we go. Got him some more water. Go get us another crappie. I'll try to fish over here a little more. You're by the spillway over there. Bye -bye. Good job, baby. Oh, I just missed one. Dang. Got my minnow. Got my minnow right inside the shade line. That's where they're hanging out. What's cool is all these minnows stay above the fish in the bait bucket. They just stay right on top so you can easily grab them if you don't drop them. Hook them right through the lips. There we go. Yeah, I had a bite, but it got off. Right in the shade line. There we go. I'm casting just to the edge of it. Wind's blowing it back in a little bit. Oh shoot, I got one. Oh man, it's a black crappie. Oh yeah. Right next to the spillway. Check that out. There we go, babe. Another one. Cody just missed one. Alright. There we go. That's three fish already. There's one. Little baby. That one's too small to cook up. Cody found him over here by the spillway. All right, rigging back up another old minnow here. Wild minnow. Got more active fish over here with this moving water in the spillway. It's kind of hot, sunny day. They're either in the shade or they're feeding. Oh, I've just got one. There we go. That's a bluegill. What do you think? Should we flay that little guy up? Nah. If we we're actually trying to survive, I'd flay him up. Get him, baby. Oh, he nibbled it. There you go. He's on there. Yeah, he is. Nice. Oh, that's a big crappie, babe. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Woo! Woo! Give me some. We ain't good tonight. Big old slab. Good job, babe. That's the biggest one of the day. Woo! All right, there's number four going in the old bucket. We're kind of running out of the bigger minnows. We should have caught more bigger ones. We got a bunch of small ones in there. They'll eat the small ones, though. I got a super tiny minnow on here. <laughs> oh, dang, that was a big one. Dang. On the super tiny minnow. Wow. Okay, that's how tiny this minnow was. I just lost that big one on. Super tiny. Get him, babe. Oh, oh my goodness. That fish is huge. That fish is huge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that gill. Yeah. Wow, look at that, guys. We need the pliers on. Oh. Uh uh. He broke the hook off? Yeah. Oh no. Well. Lesson learned, always bring two hooks. Look how big that bluegill is, guys. That is a big one. 
there's your minnow, but the hook's not there. The hook is not in his mouth, babe. Wow. Well, we're flying him up. There you go. All right. So I'm going to run back home, grab another hook, and try to catch a few more minnows. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, just getting back from getting more hooks. I'm slaying them over here. I I'm just caught, this is my fourth one. You caught four left. since I got hooks? Yes. So All right. There you go. Perfect so, timing. what'd you catch? I caught three. That's huge, crappie. babe. One pretty good crappie I caught. Yeah. And then that one, the bluegill. Three crappie and another big bluegill. Wow. Good job, babe. This thing's huge. All in the same spot. Like, wow. I'm literally just casting. That's in so the same cool. Spot. That's gonna be a good flay. Good job. And That's I've crazy. been catching my own bait and putting it on. You have? We need a bigger bucket. I know. I forgot. Look at you go. I'm gonna tie on another one of these tiny hooks while you catch another one. Using four pound test today. I'm just tying the regular improved clinch knot. Nothing special. Super tiny line, super tiny hooks. That's all you need. You got another one? Oh my gosh, guys. We have found another them. Another bluegill. Another gill. That's a big gill. I don't like taking those off. They wow. Hurt. They hurt. Took those crop crappie off without a problem. Good job, honey. Man. That's 10 fish. We might as well catch 15. Have just a little better meal. What do you think? All right, it's not hard to suck this little guy in. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Good black crappie. She is schooling me, guys. Schooling me. She figured out you gotta let him take it today. Wow. Let's see that one. Nice one, baby. Number 12. There's one. All right, number 13. My first one since she's been smoking me. There we go. Nice little black crappie. See ya. There's one. Oh, big bluegill. Big bluegill. There we go, guys. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Another one. Number 14. Chub. Chub. Check this minnow out, guys. It's actually a tiny little bluegill. Look at that. We're gonna use him. They're gonna bite it just the same, I bet. Oh, smoked it. Oh my gosh. Bluegill eat bluegill, babe. Look at that, bluegill eat bluegill. Weird. Isn't that crazy? Whew. Swallowed it. That's crazy. There we go. Decent little guy. We're gonna throw him back though. You scared my fish away. Whoops. I threw him in your spot, didn't I? Nice. That's a big one, babe. Good one. Good one. Woo! We'll keep that one. Good job. Alright. Smoked it. Smoked it. Oh, that's a fighter now. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that bluegill. Thing is huge, guys. Big old red ear. Swallowed it. Absolutely swallowed it. Hooks way down there. Whew. Oh my. Since I fished this pond a lot, that's a big male red ear. I'm actually going to let him go. See ya. Oh yeah. Big old slab. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a good one. That's an 11 inch or 11, 12 inch right there. Yep, beauty. Breaking out the first crappie to flay. I'm gonna show you guys how I flay them with an electric knife. You go right behind the head there, and then you turn your knife sideways, and you go down the spine. You gotta be careful or you'll cut through the spine. And you stop right there, flip the flay over. I'm always flaying by myself. So I go ahead and make a cut around the ribs. Saves you time. You go just like that. And then you slide your flay off of the skin. 
You got a flay that has no bones and it's super quick. I flayed two crappie per minute doing this. Super easy method. So there you have it. Here it is full speed. There you go, another flay. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys uh, a bluegill. Bluegill's pretty much the same way. Um, they're a little bit tougher to flay than a crappie. You just gotta be a little extra careful. There you go, another flay. Put them in salt water, makes them nice and tasty. Ooh, that one came off, but that's all right. Good flay, good flay. And word of advice, um, do this outside, not in your kitchen. Because yeah. your wife will not be Yeah, Cody doesn't like it when I flay in the kitchen. So we're out in the shop. We're going to flay the rest of these up, take them inside, and we're going to cook them up tonight. All right, guys, I'm giving away Dad's secret fish recipe. Anybody that asks him, he always says it's a secret. And he, he literally doesn't give it out. Um, but I'm about to give it out to you guys. It's the best tasting fish recipe um, I've ever had. And I've never shown it on my channel before. So I got the flays. Here's what you need. You need three ingredients. Take notes. You got McCormick fish fry. This is their original seafood fry mix. You got McCormick Cajun. So you got fish fry and Cajun. You do two parts fish fry, one part Cajun, and then you add dill. That's, that's a key. And then you mix it up with some water till it's a nice paste. We're about to do that. And you stick it in the deep fryer, fry it till it's golden brown. It's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna link these down below, but this is the way to go, the only way to eat fish. Do not want your dill weed lid in your fish batter. There we go. Put some water in it. And mix it up here. This is a wet batter, so you want your fish dry. And if you get too much water, like that's a tiny bit runny for me. Tiny. Eh, just a tiny bit runny. You can just add a little bit more batter. We wanted about that consistency right there. Oh yeah, that way it sticks on the fish, it's sticking on the fork. Let's fry them up. So I got kicked to the curb out of my own house. She's making me fry fish in the garage. It stinks. She says it stinks. It will stink up your house for a good two or three days. So nah. you might as well just go ahead and make your wife happy and fry your fish outside. <laughs> oh man, us guys, we don't care. Fry it all inside. Anyways, we're set up here in the shop, in the boat garage, and we are about ready. I got the fry daddy heating up. This thing's perfect for cooking your fish in, guys. Oh yeah, fill your oil up to the line, turn it on to 400, and give it about five minutes. Splash it with just a tiny bit of water, you'll hear it sizzle. And uh, then you stick your fish in. We're gonna fry it till it's golden brown. You wanna have a, a plate with paper towels ready to go. Gonna put your fish on it. Yeah, we're in the boat shop here. Got me a little attic space. Gotta use my ladder to get up there. You've seen the tackle wall before, haven't you guys? Come check it out. We got a bunch of cool baits here. Let me know what your favorite bait is. We got everything from hooks. We got all these katana hooks, wide gap hooks, Nico rig hooks, Ned rig hooks, scroungers, straight shank, round worm hooks. We got some weightless uh, screw lock hooks, some jig heads, we got some jigs, we got my signature spinnerbait, have you guys seen that? I haven't fished with it in a little while, Nordby's Finesse Spinnerbait, check that out guys, you can get that at wizardcustomtackle.com, my signature series spinnerbait, and we got some chatter baits, we got some plastics, most of them aren't on the wall, bullet weights, we're gonna be giving away some bullet weights here, so stay tuned. Big old punching weights. We got jerk baits. 
We got square bills, deep divers, we got frogs, we got big old swim baits. You saw me catch that golden shiner the other day. Then we do a, a bass challenge with this live target golden shiner. Might do that. Got some castaic baits, some awesome swim baits. Gonna be using these a ton this summer. Fish start biting a little better. But yeah, big spoon. We throwing that on the ledges. So that's my little tackle wall there. Got my sponsor's baits on it. And I got the boat here. Plug it in, charge it every night. Got me a little workbench over here. It's a pretty nice little shop. I enjoy it. So we're gonna start cooking the fish now. All right, another tip. I got all my fish in there mixed up at once. I take a fork and I dip the filet into the grease for about three or four seconds before I let it off the fork. That way the flays do not get stuck on the bottom of my deep fryer. With a wet batter, you gotta worry about them sticking. With a dry batter, you don't. But this is the way to go, guys, right here. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, all my pieces were floating. They were golden brown. Take them out, dump them on your paper towels, and you can dab them off if you want to. Uh, we're gonna do a few more batches because this is good. Just bringing in the fish. Taste test. Give it the old taste test, honey. Aw, you're on my ketchup. There you go. Mmm, that's so good. Isn't that the best? It really is. And the you best. made sweet potato for us? Mm -hmm. And, and mac, mac and, and cheese. And, cheese and cookies? Just kidding, we have this. You don't need this tartar sauce. It's not tartar sauce, it's ketchup. Oh, ketchup? My fries. All right, I'm gonna taste test the fry. Mmm. They're not as good as fried. If Baked in fries, fryer, not bad, guys. My turn for a little taste test. Mmm. That's it right there. Next time you're cooking fish, make sure you try this recipe out. It really is the best. Like, we tried so many, but this is the best. Yeah, I've cooked and flayed a lot of fish. That's the way to go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, that COVID fishing survival challenge was a success. We'd live to fish and eat another day. But I was just thinking here, as it's a Sunday episode, I wanna encourage you guys uh, to get in the word. With, with everything going on with the coronavirus and um, just being off work, everybody at home, I feel like a lot more people are at home a lot more than normal. And I just wanna ask you guys, what are you doing with all the spare time you have? Um, are you being productive? Are you just slacking off? Are you filling your mind with good things? Are you filling your mind with bad things? I know today was a good day. You know, we caught fish, we cooked them up, we spent quality time together. This morning we got in God's word, um, filled our mind with good things. I just wanna encourage you guys, try to develop your relationship with the Lord as you have more time. Um, read the Bible, pray to God more, rather than sit and watch TV or sit and watch YouTube videos. I love you guys watching my videos, but um, I just want you to develop yourself and develop your relationship with the Lord, with your family. I want to encourage you guys to do that and make sure you're um, being a leader and taking time to do that. I want to share a verse with you guys just to encourage you in this. It's Matthew 6, 33. It says, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. What he's talking about there is seeking after the Lord and everything else falling into place. Um, so if you're not seeking the Lord, nothing's going to fall into place, guys. Um, it, things of this world might fall into place, but the Lord is not going to be leading you. He's not going to be guiding you in His, in his way, His path for you. And uh, I just want to encourage you. Take steps this week to grow your faith and your walk with the Lord, your walk with Jesus, and uh, just grow closer to Him. Take time to do it. I know when I was working a full-time office job, 8 to 5 every day, I would always tell myself, you know, if, if I didn't have to work, if I could just be at home or if I could work from home, I would get up every morning. I would read the Bible, you know, I'd have a lot more time to spend in God's Word than to spend um, 
just talking to the Lord, praying to the Lord. And it's not the case. You still have to make time to do it, but it's easier when it's a desire inside of you to do it. So if you start doing it, you'll start desiring to do it, and God will fill you up, and you'll realize how much it, He's changing your life. Um, I just want to encourage you guys. Start praying for a few things. I've prayed for them in my life, and God's really opened some doors and and just led the path for me, made it straight. Uh, pray for wisdom. Pray for understanding. Pray for discernment. Pray for knowledge. Godly wisdom, godly understanding, godly discernment, godly knowledge, and He will give it to you guys. I'm serious. So anyways, I just wanted to encourage you with that message. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, we've been pumping out videos three days a week, 8 a.m. Central Time Sunday, and then 5.45 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday. So you can look for videos to be coming out. I love that you're commenting on them. Keep commenting. Just stay tuned for some awesome stuff coming up. Things are warming up down here in Alabama. Fish are going to be biting more and more and more. So get excited. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.